everyone, this is Melissa from Trendline. In this video, I'll take you through how to use the stock overview page to analyze the stock, its returns, financials, and to find out if the stock is a good buy or not. The stock overview page provides a quick helpful x-ray on the stock with insights and a comprehensive health check. You get an in-depth analysis of the stock in one place. To get started, use the search bar on the markets page to find the stock. I have chosen Mahindra and Mahindra for the demo. Next, click on Overview as shown here. This will take you to the Overview page for the company. In the Stock Overview page, you will find the stock name, the industry and sector which it falls under, the share price and trading volume. You can click on the industry or sector to do a peer comparison with similar companies and view their performance and compare valuation, growth and more. There's also a stock classification right below the stock name, turnaround potential, that is based on trendline DVM, durability, valuation, and momentum scores. You'll also see an insight based on the company's latest filings, news, exchange filing, or results. You can also view the stock report for the stock, add it to your watch list, portfolio, or set alerts on it using the action items visible on the right side. Next, let's explore the three stock health checks, DVN, SWOT and checklist, and the PE buy or sell zone. The first health check is the DVN. Trendline provides three scores for each stock, durability, evaluation, and momentum. The durability score checks the company's financial health, performance, and quality of management. The valuation score compares the stock price with its peers, while the momentum score measures the bullish or bearish trend of a stock compared to the stock universe. The scores allow you to assess the company as per your investing style. Traders may pay more attention to the momentum score, while long-term investors would want to look more at durability and valuation scores. Next to the DVM scores, you will find the analyst price target, which is the average target price based on analyst estimates. The second health check is SWOT and checklist. Trendline SWOT analysis provides an overview of the strengths and weaknesses of a stock, as well as the opportunities and threats it faces. You can click on the SWOT tab to see the detailed SWOT analysis. Here you will find a quick summary of how the stock is doing in terms of its financials, technicals, shareholding, volumes and other parameters. You can also click on the SWOT listings to see which other stocks satisfy the same criteria. A quality stock will have a high number of strengths and opportunities and few weaknesses and threats. Another check is the checklist for the stock. The trendline checklist tests whether the stock passes or fails across checks on its financial health, shareholding pattern, peer comparison and momentum. Checklist score indicates the number of tests the stock has passed. By clicking on view all checklist, you will see the positives and negatives across the above metrics. We also have the Graham checklist which looks at the company's financial ratios, valuation and growth. The third health check is the PE buy or sell zone. This is a valuation check based on the past valuation history of the stock. It shows if a stock's PE is undervalued or overvalued compared to the historical range it typically trades in. And what's the PE ratio? PE ratio or price to earnings ratio indicates whether a company's share price is expensive or cheap relative to its earnings. The PE buy sell zone tells you if the stock is in the buy zone or undervalued compared to its historical valuation or in the sell zone overvalued compared to its historical valuation. Click on the PE buy sell zone tool for a detailed analysis. Here you can add a start date, end date and parameter PE or PB value as shown here. You can see the company's historical PE and compare it to the current PE on a standalone and consolidated basis. In this video, we explored the stock overview page and various health checks for a stock on trendline. Thanks for tuning in. This is Melissa signing off.